I'll go ahead this one make a connection request okay I want you to type this dim dim let's see our data as uh, string oh, ring suck me one suck one suck one dot one suck one dot get data str data vb string i txt statue status dot txt dot txt equals equals text status equals text status dot txt and underscore str str data data and vb curly Alright, so we're done with the coding right now. Let's test it. TXT. Oh, sorry. TXT. Weird. Okay, now it's open up. Cool. So let's try something else. Let's go to the disconnect. Oh, sorry. Let's make a menu. Let's write. Um. Hold on a second, let's make it let's go to the disconnect. Let me call it this one for now. Okay, then right here um, connect connection connection. Okay, next let's make it let's try to connect menu connect let's make a shortcut let's make it uh, get will see okay get will see make next right disconnect disconnect make it get roll d call it m a n u disconnect Okay, so brace okay. We have now this. Go to the connect. No, actually got the disconnect button button, sorry I forgot to make it. Okay, I want you to write this code. Socket dot close, which is gonna be one sock, sorry, one sock, one sock one dot close. CMD send dot enable equals false. TXT is not gonna be txt log, it's gonna be txt statue. Okay. Which is our our is the name of our is txt status. Okay, txt status equals txt log. Nope, equals txt status. Okay, that is coming from the server socket. The socket is gonna change it to one sock, one sock one. All right. If cmd send dot enable equals false, then cmd disconnected dot enable equals enable. All right, that sounds good. Oh, let's see the name of this one. Cmd connect. So I want you to to change it. This cmd connect and this one disconnect. Change the name. Get copy. Change it to this one. Best. Let's find out something else. We need to change. CMD send. Everything's good. 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 All right. Oh, there you go. This one. Let's connect. Connect. Yep. Everything is cool. So let's test it. Okay, we have this with the connections. Disconnect. All right, that sounds good. Disconnect from the server. Okay, open it again. Connect. Oops, we have something wrong. 
when suck one dot listen we got something wrong hold on go ahead. let's make the board oh so let me, let's make the board 55 let's see yeah 55 okay so just make the f the board 55 of the one suck go to the local board make it 55 okay so go to the connect go to the connect button take it copy the code go to the connection go to the connect best go to disconnect take it copy go to the connection copy it go to the connection go to disconnect make it go to the best Alright, so thanks for watching my server tutorial. I want you to wait the client tutorial and you'll see it's gonna work like this. What you're gonna making, alright? Let me show you. So connect connect oops method that uh, the oh yeah, sorry, got something wrong or program the txt nothing t e x t t e x t nothing should be t x t okay so this one to t e x t t e x t t x t all right so let's work connect no disconnect connect something wrong okay that t x t this is that t x t again again disconnect connect connect something wrong start the thing oops this is that is that text is that is that dx dx d all right, so it should work right now. Okay, so let's connect. Open the other one. Right, connect. Let's connect. We got another problem. I want to know what's going on. Sorry. Okay, so it goes down. Should be working right now. Cool. Okay, let's see. Alright, so what's going on? I'm sorry about that guys. That txt txt connect connect something else involve the use of property property Let's check it. Let's check the name. Let's try it now. It's still fucking. Oh, I see right now. I see. Okay, so just change the multi line. Sorry, we're gonna uh, work on that one later on. Just go to the multi line, multi line, and make it false. The multi line, make it false. Yeah, try it right now. Connect. Oops, another problem. Alright guys, just keep on 
this video as I told you make same as what I did on the client I'll try to tell you what's going on what's wrong okay so don't erase all these codes keep it keep it in your program and I'll tell you what happened on this one on the next video thanks for watching my video bye bye